Hello everyone. Here I have brought you one more video that is about note making. Note making is one of the writing skills which help us during examination and while studying we come across long answers, detailed descriptions, very long explanations and sometimes there are too much examples included in that extracts. So all these make us very heavy to learn and memorize. So here is a technique through which you can memorize lots of things easily. So first we shall go towards the concept a note. What is a note? A note is a brief record of points or ideas. It is an aid to memory and a large piece of information is compressed into an organized and summarized piece. There is a difference between note making and note taking. We take notes of speeches, lectures, discussions, uh, recipes or sometimes we take notes from the textbooks or the reference books. So let's see what is that difference. So here is note taking. Note taking is a passive process. It is a complete paragraph of main points and supporting details. Very little changes are required. Notes are written in full form. Notes are made from sources. Sources means here just now I have uh, given you the examples of speeches, lectures, textbooks, reference books. So you can use all those sources for taking notes. Now let's see note making. Note making is an active process. Active in the sense the student or a person has to construct his notes himself. Then only relevant concepts and words are used through a particular style. So we are going to learn all those various styles later. It is easier to change the notes made. But we cannot make any changes in the uh, taking notes. You can use short forms. So note making is often in short form. And short forms also you can use like ab abbreviations, short forms, uh, etc. Notes are constructed by the learner themselves. There are some common aspects of both note taking and note making. Let's see. Both provide study material for easy reference preparation during an examination. Both help to remember with ease. Both help students to excel in their studies. And both help students to concentrate better and effectively. Now let's see what are the advantages of this note making or why do we make notes. <coughs> So note making helps during exam as it is a handy information. It also helps in recalling and recollecting the past events. It helps in concentrating and understanding the topic. It distinguishes between main points and details. Here is a uh, styles of note making. Here are some various styles of note making or we can say different styles of note making like note making with points and sub points, drawing a tree diagram, making a table, charts, it may be bar charts, pie charts, flow charts or sometimes you can uh, draw line graph pictograms are there maps and plans also you can use while making notes but here we are going to uh, study the first three all right so let's see the f uh, some tips to prepare notes so you have to use phrases only you cannot use sentences so never use sentences Topic sentences of each paragraph may be the main point and ideas associated with it. 
आर द सब पॉइंट ईच सब पॉइंट मे और मे नॉट हैव सप्लीमेंट्री आइडियाज विच बिकम सब सब पॉइंट नेक्स्ट ऑल रिलेवेंट पॉइंट शुड बी प्रेजेंटेड इन लॉजिकल सिक्वेंस यू हैव टू यूज थर्ड पर्सन एंड यू कैन यूज एब्रीविएशंस शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स और सिम्बॉल्स लाइक डब्ल्यू एच ओ सो दिस इज द एब्रीविएशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो हियर आर फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गवर्नमेंट एट्सेट्रा सो सच शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स यू कैन यूज एंड सिम्बॉल्स लाइक एंड परसेंटेज डॉलर ग्रेटर दैन एट्सेट्रा now here are those three formats of note making so let's see first note making with points and sub points means we can find out what is the passage about and write the title so when when we can understand what is the passage about so the answer of that is the title or heading after that you can right subheading or that main idea after main idea or subheading you have to write supporting details here into point number 1 and into that point you can write sub point first sub point second in another paragraph you will get another idea so it may be another main idea or sub idea or subheading and in that also you can use the same procedure that we have done in first one that is second point second sub point uh, sorry second uh, sub point 1 sub point 2 next this is about tree diagram so with the help of those main points and sub points or uh, um, heading we can draw this hierarchical relation we can use such branches for main points like main point 1 main point 2 main point 3 and sub points you can use here in that hierarchical relation and the third one is table so here we can classify those main points and subordinating details into this horizontal or vertical group drawing a proper table so main point sub point and sub sub point and their examples you can write in this order then graph is there bar is there so many other sources you can use for note making now let's solve one example i'll read this passage for note making although sleeping disorder is generally a problem of old age it is equally shared by today's youth there are mainly three types of problems lack of sleep disturbed sleep and shift in the sleep cycle if there are not given enough attention it's found to lead a serious diseases stress tension and ideal mind or lack of exercise can be responsible for it school children need rest or their learning curve is hampered we need to create a conductive environment for sleep remove tv sets from bedrooms and don't let the child over sleep on holidays maintaining a schedule for getting up on time and an adequate sleep hygiene also feature on the list so this is the passage about sleeping disorder right so there are the types of problems of those sleeping order is given here the reasons are given and what should we do the solutions are also given there so we have the title 
then we have the main points and the supporting details or sub points now let's do the same passage through note making so here is our heading sleeping disorder and a b c d these are our sub headings so the first one is generally problem of old age second equally shared by today's youth third point types so what are the types of those sleeping disorder that is lack of sleep disturbed sleep shift in sleep cycle the fourth point and the some supporting details are given here the fourth point is reason so what is the reason ideal mind lack of exercise and the last two points are rest and the last one conductive environment for sleep so these are our six main points and these are the sub points sub sub points are also given here okay so let's see rest is important for school children otherwise learning curve hampered what should be the conductive environment for sleep there should not be tv in bedroom and over sleeping on holidays should be banned so what we have to maintain that is schedule for getting up on time and adequate sleep hygiene now you can understand that this paragraph i have changed into this note so such kind of notes will help us during exam i hope after watching this video you will find easy to write any answer with the help of note making thank you